What up people, CSS Code here. Thank you so much for joining me and I really hope you've had an amazing Christmas with your family and friends and everything like that. So here's to 2018. Now you may have noticed my channel has been evolving in a different way a little bit. I wanna get more into my photography and my droning. So here we have the DJI Spark. It's freaking awesome. I've started doing the size of things in my spade hands. Check that out, that is absolutely tiny. It comes in at like 300 grams. This is the Fly More Combo, okay? And I'm very, very fortunate. I'm one hell of a lucky <laughs> to be able to get this. I really, really want to say a massive thank you. What do you get with the Fly More Combo? You get two extra batteries. You get the control, which is this, this awesome controller. And all that happens is you put your phone in between here and then you get a first person, I don't mean to use this finger, but then you get the first person view from your phone. Simply slots in like so. Then these are your antennas and then these is how you control everything. It's so easy to control like you wouldn't believe. Now the reason why I've got this drone is because I want to get into more of my cinema photography. I want to be a bit more creative. I've got my camera, which I'm using right now, which I absolutely love. I've got the microphone up there. I've got my new iPhone X. So I'm gonna be using all of these to create some absolutely amazing content for you. And we're nearly at 25,000 subscribers. So thank you so, so much. So if you wanna get shots like these and these, which I'll be showing you right about now, then honestly, the Spark is the best drone you can buy for the money. Honestly, you can record in 1080p and it's absolute fantastic quality with the image stabilization as well and the gimbal which lets you turn around and it goes up to 33 miles an hour. It does say 31 on the website but I got 33 out of it. Coming from a big height, sport mode all the way down. The only problem with sport mode is, yeah, if you want like obstacle avoidance on, no, not a chance. That basically disables the obstacle avoidance. So keep it out of sport mode unless you're in like a massive, massive area where you just cannot crash a thing. Remember, it doesn't have anything on the back either. On here is just where the memory card goes. So on the front, we've got sensors here. So you can see here, these are the sensors. This will make it stop if it's coming towards something, if it's coming towards you. And remember, also on the bottom as well we have sensors but on the rear so if you're flying backwards it will not stop so if you want some cool like footage going away from something just fly it forwards and reverse the footage it's simple as that the camera as you can see on there is absolutely freaking awesome you do get extra propellers in the fly more pack as well so definitely worth it i did buy this third party case to actually house everything in just makes me feel a little bit happier that it's all going to be secure as well so that was only 12 dollars off of amazon because the cases you get with the fly more pack is just a shite absolute shite so don't i just wouldn't even bother using them but this little bad boy is going to be bringing you and me some amazing footage I'm going to be showing clips and would have been showing clips throughout the start of this video, but it really is that good. I cannot tell you how good it is. So the flight time. With two batteries, you're going to get about 30 minutes. I've been getting 12 to 15 minutes per battery, depending on what I'm doing. If I'm on sport mode, it's probably going to cane the battery more, but I just do elements of sport mode then obviously elements of normal mode to get that good footage which you've been seeing throughout this video. So you're gonna get some good flight time. Go through three or four batteries just to learn how to fly it first because the last thing you wanna do is crash the drone on one of your first launches. I actually decided to do my first launch inside the house. I hit the ceiling and I scratched all of the propellers. So luckily we do get some more but I was a bit pissed off about that, but it doesn't affect the flying. Check your blades for any little dinks, any little scratches, any little notches out of it, because they that may affect the performance of it. And I'm pretty much guaranteed that it will affect the actual flying of this little bad boy. So I have had a couple of hiccups where I've been flying out and on a bit of the footage, which I'm gonna show you now, actually lost contact with the remote control. And it just, 
lost everything. So what happened? It returned to the launch point from where I first launched it. And thankfully, when I got my controller back on and the app restarted, it basically said it was hovering one foot from its home point. So I drove a mile up the road, and there it was, hovering off the ground. I may have that bit of footage as well. If it is, I'll be showing you. But the return to home does work. You can either set it as a return from home from your launch point, or return from the home from the last location of the controller as well. So you've got two different options there. You've got loads of hands and gesture controls. I'm not going to go into them because I think they're too gimmicky. They're not for me. I haven't even tried them. I'm not going to try them because like things you can, if you do that or whatever, you can take a picture. Not for me. Just use the controller. It's like called a droney or whatever like that. Not interested. This is going to get you some fantastic images, some fantastic shots and some awesome cinematography. Adding some LUTs to it in Final Cut Pro 10 afterwards in post then you're going to get some awesome awesome footage proper cinematic style footage so if you're into phones if you're into drones if you're into cameras that's where 2018 is going to take me and it's going to take you click that like button if you like this video you're going to see loads more from this you're going to get some awesome shots i'm going overseas next year so i'm going to be going on a few little holidays I'm going to be getting some cracking footage and we're going to be getting some cracking, cracking views from this bad boy, from that bad boy, and you're going to be able to watch it. You just got to subscribe. Here's to 2018. Thank you so, so much.